Hi, this is Digital Beers Born. Welcome back for more AP Art History. We're looking at the indigenous Americas, specifically Mesoamerica in Mexico. We're going to finish this chapter with a painting called The Valley of Mexico from the Hillside of Santa Isabel by the artist Jose Maria Velasco. Now let's start with the formal qualities. You might notice that this work looks very different than the other works we've been looking at in this chapter. The material that's used for this painting is oil on canvas. And the date on this work is 1882, which is relatively recent in terms of art history. This piece comes from the 19th century. If you remember our chapter on the 19th century, there were two major movements that dominated the early 19th century, Romanticism and Realism. This work draws heavily from the Romantic movement. As a quick review of Romanticism, the works that we looked at earlier in this year, Liberty Leading the People, The Slave Ship by J.M.W. Turner, or The Oxbow by Thomas Cole, are all romantic paintings, and their focus is on capturing the sublime. The sublime is a feeling of awe mixed with fear, and the Romantics believe that it was the most intense emotion a human could experience. The painting we're looking at in this work is an example of Romanticism from Mexico. Now let's take a look at the content. The subject matter of this work is a landscape painting. It depicts a broad sweeping view of Mexico. Here in the center of the image, what we see is actually a depiction of Tenochtitlan. If you remember from earlier in this chapter, Tenochtitlan was the capital of the Aztec Empire built in the center of a lake, which would eventually become Mexico City. This landscape painting depicts the very early days of the capital of Mexico, Mexico City. We also see a number of other things. These two peaks back here are famous landmarks in the Mexican landscape. I wouldn't worry about those names, but I would know that they represent recognizable parts of the Mexican geography. Now here in the foreground, we see an indigenous family, a mother, her two children and their dogs, representing the people of Mexico City in the early 19th century. This work is reminiscent of the Oxbow by Thomas Cole. If you remember in our chapter about 19th century art, we talked about how the Oxbow was a romantic landscape that emphasized the sublime power of nature, but at the same time referencing manifest destiny and the cultural identity of America at that time. This painting, The Valley of Mexico from the Hillside of Santa Isabel, is a similar romantic landscape that focuses on the sublime vastness of nature while also representing concepts about Mexican identity. And with that, let's talk about the context. This painting was made soon after the Mexican War of Independence. In the Mexican War of Independence, Mexico fought to separate themselves from the European power of Spain. And with that, they established themselves as their own sovereign nation with their own cultural identity. So the function of this painting is twofold. One, it's an exploration of Romanticism, the 19th century movement in Mexico. But two, it's a way of establishing Mexico's cultural identity through the depiction of its capital city, famous landmarks, and its population. And that is the Valley of Mexico from the hillside of Santa Isabel by Jose Maria Velasco.